Hi, this is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. On Sunday mornings, I have been taking our church through a verse-by-verse -verse study of 2 Thessalonians. This last Sunday, we looked at several verses in chapter 2, where Paul begins to speak about people who refuse to receive a love of the truth, and because of this, God will send strong delusion so that they might receive the lie. I shared how people will believe what they want to believe, which in 2 Thessalonians is given as an explanation as to how Antichrist will be accepted by the world. In the study, by way of illustration, I mentioned that this kind of willful blindness is at the heart of how many Americans make decisions today. It is not based on fact or well-researched information that they personally seek out, but is often simply the result of a five-minute search through Google or reading an article on their newsfeed. After five minutes of reading, they become experts at anything that they've decided to investigate, and then many write on their social media how they have researched a certain subject and have come to a conclusion. Well, the fact is, they simply repeat what others have written and have no real understanding of what they are writing about. This reveals the strength of social media and its power to influence. On one hand, instant access to information can be a real blessing. It is a blessing because so much information is at our disposal. But it can also be a curse in that we've come to think that all information available is accurate and is worth repeating as fact without checking on the validity of the information. Many seem to think that if it's written, and if it's often repeated, obviously it must be true. With that said, recently I spoke about the unfair treatment of Judge Brett Kavanaugh and how many are responding to an accusation of sexual assault that has been lodged against him. I spoke of how he is considered guilty by many, not because of any proof, but simply because he's a man and a woman said he's guilty. On cue, Hollywood actresses spoke up of how he must be guilty because they have chosen to believe the woman and after all, men are simply animals and all men are guilty of being bullies and predators. It's sadly revealing that they are mainly accusing conservative men but are strangely silent when it comes to powerful liberals like Harvey Weinstein. The only ones who seemed to care about his alleged mistreatment of women were those who are at the twilight of their long careers and no longer have anything that he can help them to achieve or to personally lose. So much for loving other women. A Hawaiian senator, Maisie Hirono, tells all men to shut up and step up with a grinning man standing behind her, apparently approving her ignorant rant against all men, which includes me and every decent man on the planet. I wonder how women would feel if a man had said, all of you women need to shut up and step up when it comes to moral issues like the value of the life of the unborn, the sanctity of marriage, or the value of raising their own children. I can almost hear some of you now, and many of you aren't saying, Amen. This is the state of civil discourse in our beloved nation. Our minds have been made up, so don't confuse us with facts. Our heart tells us that this is true, because after all, feelings never lie. All men are monsters and predators, and any man who ever made a move on a woman is not fit to hold any kind of office or any kind of powerful position, because men are simply animals that do not have any restraint while well, every woman is a saint and never does anything wrong. If they say it, it must be true because after all, she has nothing to gain. Does she or does she? The simple fact is many are lacking moral discernment today and this is being played out before our eyes. The accusation has been made and the mob is storming the jail to execute the one who's being accused and no one should get in the way because someone told us that this person is guilty and they have made up our mind. As a pastor who has taught the Bible for 45 years, my heart breaks as I hear Christians who rush to judgment and condemn others for the sin of appearing guilty. Perhaps it is time to be reminded of what Proverbs 18 verse five says, 
It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. Or how about Proverbs 18, verse 13, which reads, He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. It may be time for us to remember Proverbs 18, verse 17, which reads, The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. If you stayed with me throughout this Facebook Live message, with you, I am hoping that the truth will be found and that the judge will either be proven guilty or exonerated. It is my prayer for him and his family that the allegations will prove to be false for their sake and for the sake of all who know him and all who love him. If he's guilty, then let that be proven also. But in all fairness and justice, just because the Me Too movement gets so much press time, it does not follow that every angry participant is justified in their anger. An entire group of the world's population is being presented as evil. And every man is apparently a bully or one who assaults any woman he desires to assault. This is absolutely absurd, is wrong, but is commonly presented and believed without repercussion. As a Christian, I pray that the truth will be manifested. And I would pray that Judge Kavanaugh is not a man who forcefully assaulted his accuser for her sake and for his family's sake, as well as the sake of our nation. If he is guilty, then whatever is the just repercussion of his action should come. And I, for one, do not plan on differing with the results if the judgment comes in a fair and just way. The sad thing is, if innocent, those who rush to judgment have already done damage to all that he has accomplished over his lifetime, and nobody will care about it in a month. He will be left with the job of repairing his reputation, consoling his wife, and the bringing of healing to his little girls who have watched their father go through the fire. The real goal of his opponents is to destroy him, or at least to delay his confirmation so that they can stack the votes against his ascending to the court. Any who do not see this may very well be guilty of intentional self-delusion. This is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.